So welcome back to the sawmill, friends. Looks like we're gonna be spending a lot of money today. The diesel tank is empty. You guys hang in there. So I have two diesel tanks here at the sawmill. Both of them hold right at 100 gallons. But the difference in them, this one is portable. I really like it. I bought it on Amazon a couple of months ago and it was pretty expensive. I think it was a little overpriced, but it works pretty good. And the main reason that I got this one is because I had those fork, or the pockets rather, for your pallet forks to go into right there on the bottom. I used to call the co-op and they would come out here at the fuel truck and fill up the container that's up there at the mill, the other diesel container. It's got a hand crank pump on it. This one is battery powered, it's a little bit nicer. And those guys were great to work with, really good prices, but their scheduling was not the greatest. If I called them on Monday, they would say, all right, we'll be out tomorrow. What well, may be two weeks from now before you see them. And when they do show up, if I wasn't here, it could be a new driver and he wouldn't even know where to go. So he's calling me and I'm at Food City buying groceries and I'm trying to tell him where the fuel tank is. It got to be aggravating to be honest with you. If they could just call an hour ahead of time, that would have solved that problem. But they're really busy and I'm a small customer. So it is what it is. That's why I bought this one right here. So I'm no longer having to rely on that company to come out when they want to and kind of mess up my day. When I need fuel, I fill this up, I bring it back, I put half of it in the other container that fuels the sawmill and this one I leave for the tractors and the track loader. But I tell you what guys, I'm using so much fuel here lately running machines, I may have to buy another one. Before the comment section explodes, it rained last night and my tailgate was down. That is not spilled diesel. I'm sure somebody will ask. So we got everything loaded up. Now we're gonna head over to Virginia to grab the diesel. And if you're wondering why I'm going to another state, there's two reasons. Number one, I could be in Virginia in about 10 minutes. It's just over the mountain. And number two, their farm diesel is a lot cheaper over there. Today it's 3.51 a gallon. In Tennessee, it's 4.11. So a pretty good savings right there when you're buying 100 gallons. friends we're up here at the mill i got a cherry we need to finish up real fast this is the one i started on the last video we're sawing this into four quarter boards once it's finished i got something pretty special to put on the mill you guys hang in there
All right, guys, this right here is going to be a good one. The small end is 28 inches and the large end on the operator's side is 31. It's an eight footer and I've been sawing since 2010 and this is my fourth Woodmiser saw mill and I've never had a cherry of this size on my mill. I've never seen a cherry of this size in this area. I'm in Northeast Tennessee and we got some decent cherry around here but I've never seen one this big, 22 inches before today, I think was probably the largest cherry that I've ever had on this sawmill, or a sawmill rather. This right here, friends, is massive. I tell you what, this is a massive log. Now before you guys start emailing me, this is not my log, it belongs to a customer. I tried to buy it from him, but he wouldn't sell it to me. And to be honest with you guys, I don't blame him. I wouldn't have sold it either. We're gonna be doing four quarter on the thickness, which is an inch and an eighth. If you're new to this channel, he's wanting three quarter inch boards after kiln drying and final milling. He'll get some really nice boards out of this. This was the butt cut of the tree. It came from a dense forest, so hopefully we'll have limited sapwood. And there's not a lot of defects on here. I'm not seeing any knots or any cat faces or nothing like that. So hopefully we'll get some really nice 20 plus inch wide clear boards out of this. On the sawmill, we've got a Joe Main Silver Tip Turbo 7, that's an inch and a half blade, and I've had it on the mill for the past few logs. We may have to do a blade change before we finish this one up. I want these boards to be really nice and really true on the dimensions. I don't want this blade going dull on me and trying to dip just a little. And if you want to try these blades out, call Joe Main. His cell phone number is in the video description. So friends, hopefully this log does not disappoint. Let's open it up and find out. I'm excited. All right, friends, that went pretty good. I went kind of slow because I want these boards to be nice and flat. And that blade is getting dull on me. Probably have to change it before I saw any more. Got a few ants coming out right there. That's always expected though. Let's take a look at these. See what kind of dimensions we have as far as our width. 24 inches guys, 24 inches. That is a premium hardwood cherry board right there, 24 inches. Cabinet makers would pay really good money for wide boards like this. A lot of sapwood in this one, as we go down further, the sapwood will start going away though. 
But like I was saying, we got three cuts so far. We're gonna put these on the loading arms. I'm not gonna drag them back for two reasons. Reason number one is I don't want them to, uh, to bust. A board this wide has a potential to bust if you pull it back and let it fall violently on that table. It can happen. I've seen it happen many a times. And the second reason is I'm gonna bring my pallet over on this side of the sawmill where the logs come in and I'm gonna stack from this side so I don't have to handle this as much. That's gonna be a little bit easier on me. So uh, good news and bad news. Good news is I think we're gonna be in good shape. This log is really nice. I don't see any problems with it so far. The bad news is I'm done for the night because I have a neighbor right here behind me He's probably about 80 yards away, maybe 100 yards away, something like that. But my sawmill is kind of directed toward his house. There's a tree line, but I'm sure he can hear me. And they're having some kind of family get together or something. There's about 20 cars over there. So I don't know if you guys can hear them in the background. There's a lot of kids over there playing. So I'm gonna to try to be a good neighbor and not saw while he's got that going on over there because he never complains about me sawing. And I never complain about getting his goats out of the fence over there and their heads get stuck. So uh, make sure we stay on good terms. But he's got a lot of people going on over there and uh, looks like they're probably set in for the evening. I bet they'll be down there for a few hours or until dark having their little get together. So we're done for the night. But we will take a look at these three boards before we go. This right here would be a time when a helper would be much appreciated. So in the next video, when we cut some more of these, I'll throw some water on them. I would do it tonight, but it's getting dark outside and these lights in here, when you throw water on these boards, just don't do them justice at all. But I will get the dust off of them. Normally you would want hardly any sawdust at all on your boards, but when you cut a wide board like this, you're really after that quality and you want it to be nice and flat. So I do go slower than most people. My buddy Jake Dean down in Georgia, if he saw a board with this much dust on it, he'd be sitting there saying to himself, what did I do wrong or who saw this lumber because it wasn't me. He has zero dust on his board. So he, he saw so fast. My goodness. Would you look at that? Man, that's a nice board right there. You talked about some nice tables or cabinets or furniture. My buddy Tim Fuller out in Iowa, he could really make some nice stuff with a cherry board like this. I can't wait to throw water on one of these tomorrow. More of the same friends, more of the same. What a log, I tell you what. You don't get them like this a whole lot, guys, especially on grade sawing. These boards are something special. Gotta be careful when you take out the trash around here. Make sure there's nothing in the boxes you don't want to throw away. Hello, cabbage. <laughs> 